But Kushner's distance from the president has not taken the pressure off. Democrats in Congress are renewing calls to revoke Kushner's security clearance this week after learning that he attended Donald Trump Jr.'s meeting with a Russian government lawyer, that's what it was billed at, any, at anyway, who promised to give the campaign dirt on Hillary Clinton last year. We have lots to discuss with my guest, Democratic Senator Mark Warner of Virginia, the vice chair of the Intelligence Committee, which is, of course, leading the Russia investigation. Senator, thanks so much for joining us, as always. Thank you, Jake. So let's begin with Donald Trump Jr.'s meeting last year with that Russian lawyer. You heard President Trump's lawyer, Jay Sekulow, a moment ago, the president's lawyer maintaining there was nothing illegal about the meeting. I know special counsel Robert Mueller is overseeing the criminal part of this investigation. What's your response to this argument that there's nothing criminal here at this meeting last year? Well, we don't know because we don't know really what happened at the meeting. What we do know is Donald Trump Jr. did not tell the truth a variety of times. At first, he said this meeting was only about Russia, uh, immigration policies, and adoptions. Then he said there were only three or four people. Now we know there's many more people. We know this was a meeting that was specifically about, in black and white, a, a part of the Russian government's effort to discredit Clinton and help Trump. So I'm not sure why we take anybody in, in, in this senior level of the Trump administration at their word. That's why it's so important that we're going to get a chance to question these individuals and, and try to actually nail down the truth. Senator, have you seen any evidence that any crime was committed? I'm not going to get into what evidence we've seen. Uh, we do know that there seems to be a convenient pattern where all of the senior officials of the Trump campaign forget about their meetings with Russians, don't put it on their forms until evidence comes out, and then they have to amend. For example, Mr. Kushner, we now have not one, not two, but three examples where he forgot meetings with Russians and has had to go back and amend his disclosure forms. I think if I had a meeting that involved Russian government efforts to try to help candidate Trump and hurt Clinton, that I would remember that. And frankly, it's a little bit unbelievable that neither the son or the son-in-law ever shared that information with their dad, the candidate. Do you think Kushner's security clearance should be suspended? Listen, I think I'm trying to give all these people the benefit of the doubt until I get a chance to talk to them, until we get a chance to interview them. But it is very bothersome to me that Gerald Kushner has forgotten not once, not twice, but three times to put down this information. But again, we see this pattern. General Flynn failed to put down information. He got fired. The attorney general failed to disclose information. He had to recuse himself. We, ha we had examples that, w that were put out about what the firing of Jim Comey was about. Then the president himself said he fired Jim Comey because of the Russia thing. So uh, the level of credibility from the senior levels of this administration really is suspect, and I think suspect regardless of which political party you belong to. That June 2016 meeting with that Russian lawyer, CNN has con uh, confirmed that it included at least eight people. Will your committee seek to call all eight of them, including Trump Jr. and Jared Kushner, to testify? I would like to hear from all of these individuals. Whether we'll be able to get the Russian nationals to come over and testify is an open question. With those people that, that our committee has jurisdiction over, the Americans, I sure as heck want to talk to all of them. Do you think that Trump Jr. and Kushner will testify in open session so the public can hear from them? They have said that they are anxious to work with the committee. Uh, again, I'm going to take them at their word. It'll be interesting to see, though, whether they'll be willing to testify in open hearing or closed hearing. End of the day, we've got to get the information, and then we have to share the information with the American public. The American public deserves to know how the Russians attacked our, our, our most basic democratic process, how they interfered, not just in our country, but they interfered in France, they're going to interfere in Germany. And what bothers me is they got a great return on investment. You add up all the money they spent on all these, inter all these efforts to disrupt elections, you double it, and you're still talking about less than 5% of the cost of a new aircraft carrier. So the Russians have found in cyber warfare a very good rate of return on what is, frankly, a, a pittance in terms of money they're spending. Do you have any sort of timeline on when we're going to have testimony from Kushner and, and Donald Trump Jr.? Listen, I, I would rather have us move much further and much faster. We, we, had, we were delayed a bit by the firing of Jim Comey, which 
Again, nobody could have predicted. But I think it's really important that we get documents from these individuals first so we can ask them the right questions. Clearly, if we don't have all the information, what we'll see and what I'm afraid of is these individuals don't seem to disclose everything or don't tell the whole truth until they have evidence uh, put in front of them.